Before Dulwich Hamlet's defeat at Margate earlier in January, DHFC TV caught up with manager Gavin Rose to discuss a contract for one of his players, a couple of departures, and he also gave an update on a couple of injury absences. Ahead of the victory over Folkson and Victor at the start of the month, midfielder Michael Onofwigan became the latest player to sign a contract at the club, signing until the end of the season. After a couple of appearances for the Hamlet in August 2016, Onof Wigan embarked on a bit of a journeyman season, but after rejoining the club, he has made 19 appearances and added some more steel and strength and depth to the midfield. Both he and his manager have been pleased with his progress this season. He's a good progression for Michael. He's come in in the summer. Um, he had a few clubs last year and he didn't really get settled. Um, but he's coming in the summer, he's got himself settled, um, he's proven himself to be a valuable member of the squad and as time's gone on, um, he's made himself even more important in the last four or five weeks by playing more, more times than not. So um, he's on a good upward curve uh, performance wise and then off the pitch he, uh, he's a credit, he doesn't cause me any issues, he, he wants to listen and learn, he's a good character. Uh, bubbly, bubbly personality as well. So yeah, he's a credit, and it's good. Uh, I think it's a good addition for the club. Just happy to be settled somewhere now. So you know, I just got to focus on to the end of the season. Going to say last season, I think you had five clubs. Journeyed around a little bit. How pleased is it? How pleasing is it just to be settled at one club and, and get some minutes out on the pitch? Yeah, it's good. You know, you just know where you're going every week. You know, the trainers, no one at the club, and then yeah, just happy to be playing at the moment. So, um, nothing's guaranteed, but. Just happy to play this game. You started the season last year with the club. When you heard that Gavin wanted you to come back, how quick was it uh, response? I bet you wanted to come back immediately. Yeah, to be fair, I called him um, and just asked him if I could come back. So he's done me a favour by letting me come back. So, so I'm grateful to him and just trying to play him on the pitch. Really. January also saw a couple of players leave Champion Hill, one on loan and one permanently. Forward Omar Karoma had rejoined the club for a third spell at the start of December as cover for a depleted strike force. But due to the continued form of Reese Alassani and Nairon Clunas in attack, he has joined Peter Adeni's Car Shorten Athletic for regular football. In his latest spell, Karoma played five times, scoring once in the London Senior Cup win at Corinthian Casuals. Omar came in and, and, and helped us out in a short period, um, but we felt that he wouldn't play as many games uh, from the start um, as he would have liked and probably we would have liked. And, um, yeah, we just felt it was probably best for, for both that he went and played at Car Shorten. Also going out on an initial one-month loan was defender Anthony Achimpong, rejoining former club Welling United. Achimpong began the season in the side, before a leg injury against Billericay Town kept him out for a couple of months. However, minutes have been hard to come by since returning, and he has gone off to Parkview Road, and Rose revealed the professionalism of his player. Yeah, Ach is a very good pro, very good pro. He's um, had an injury, which was a hamstring injury. He stayed out longer than we thought he would. And uh, the team in that time started to do really well and started to form uh, a decent um, defensive performance, really. So he never once came and, and moaned or argued because he could see that the boys were, uh, were doing well and he showed a lot of respect to his teammates uh, by understanding that. But also, equally, he's a very good player, a player more than capable of playing for us. Uh, and we needed him to go out and play some games just to make sure that he has got games under his belt you know, as and when uh, needed, he, he can come in seamlessly. Finally, the manager also gave an update on the fitness of strikers Dimibi DeMarca and Gavin Tomlin, who have both spent lengthy periods on the sidelines this season. Didi's actually gone today to see someone to see if he can uh, step his um, rehab up. So we're hoping that we get some good news at the end of the day today. Um, but he's been very patient, hard working. Uh, he looks a little bit embarrassed at the amount of times he's been out, but it's not his fault. He's, um, He's done nothing wrong and he's worked really hard. So, yeah, we're hoping that he gets a turn of luck um, and he, he's able to help us towards the end of the season. Um, and uh, Gav, Gav's looks like he's progressing really well. Uh, he's got the old bones working. Uh, you'd normally say that um, older players take longer to recover, but Gav's showing that you can defy that with a, a strong mentality and a, a keenness to get back playing. The best piece of transfer news was saved for the final day of January, though, when it was announced that top scorer Reese Alassani would be remaining at Champion Hill until the summer. The striker had attracted the attention of several championship clubs, as well as both Celtic and Rangers, but no firm bids were made for the 22-year-old during the window, with a bid from Norwich City earlier in the campaign previously turned down by Alassani. The former Crystal Palace man has been in scintillating form during his three months at the club, scoring 17 goals in as many games, at an average of a goal every 77 and a half minutes.